First thing you want to do is take some cardboard, measure about 17 inches from top to bottom. Draw a line across the cardboard and then cut with your box cutter, being very careful to watch your fingers throughout this entire process. Now the piece of cardboard you have is 17 inches high and it can be as wide as you want. From the bottom of your cardboard, measure about five inches and make a line right across that cardboard. This is gonna be the area that you decorate with your Christmas colors using crayons, white, green, gold, silver, whatever turns you on. I recommend using crayons because it's wax, but you could use magic marker. You can be creative and go crazy. Once you're done with your artwork, you can start cutting the cardboard from top to bottom. I go about an inch and a quarter. That's the size of my uh, yardstick that I'm using. And it seems to be a good size for the fire starters. Making these fire starters isn't an exact science, so if you want to make them a little bit longer, thicker, taller, whatever, you can do that. I always suggest make a few, try them in your wood stove or your fireplace, see what works best, and then take it from there. Now all you have to do is take these strips and you want to roll them up and just make sure that the colored portion where you have your artwork is facing the outside. Don't have to be too tight, try and keep it round, then take your staple gun or a piece of tape and you want to leave a little flap there because that is going to work as your wick when your fire starters are complete. If you're going to make a lot of these, the easiest way of making them is the best way. So another way of doing this roll up is that you can fold over a portion of that strip of cardboard and then start rolling and that'll save you some time. Another way of rolling these is what I call a chopstick method. Take one chopstick, put it inside the big fold, put the other one on the outside, and that'll help you get a nice round uh, finished product to your fire starter. Helps if you've got achy fingers or maybe a, a little arthritis. Taking a stack of these strips and then working them through your hands like you see here will make them a little bit more pliable and easier to work with when you're rolling them up before you staple them. The final step that we go through is adding wax to our fire starters. In this, what I like to do is take an old uh, coffee can with a plastic lid. I melt the wax candles that we have laying around. And if they're scented, that lid keeps the scent in. I heat this wax over a double boiler. You can take a look at one of my videos where I'm reheating some of our maple syrup. It's very safe. It's very neat. And again, it keeps the smell of those candles uh, down to a minimum. What you want to do is simply dip half of that fire starter into the wax, shake it off gently, turn it over, and let it cool. Once your fire starters are cooled off, then you can put them in whatever containers you want to give out as Christmas gifts. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.